appear on him in pictures that you've seen from time to time. You've been to every country and you've sampled every clime. You've roamed the jungles, climbed the Alps, you've sailed the seas all seven. You've even been to Brooklyn. Now we're taking you to heaven. Relax. Don't be nervous. Speak right into the microphone. Your name, please? Uh, Ted Barry. Hmm, Barry. Will you step inside, please? Right with you. See, this is quite a layout you've got here. Look, Bud, where do I go for my wings? Wings? Yes, you know, wings. All right, all right. Well, don't shout at me. I know what wings are. They happen to be passe around here. How do you spell your name? B A. Say, are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Look, mister, you don't seem to be hep. I'm Ted Barry, the old maestro. You know. Dance and smile, the Barry style. That's Ted Barry, the band leader. Well, here we are. Ted Barry, musician, born Brooklyn, USA. That's me. Brooklyn? Yeah. Tell me, how are the Dodgers doing this year? Well, not bad, you see. Huh? Oh, oh yes, well, now, um, any references? References? Look, you don't seem to understand. Does, does this tell you anything? Tomorrow night at eight, I'll sing again. But until then, please remember to have a package of Flugerman's peppermint candy handy until our date tomorrow night. A little corny, isn't it? Mr. Barry, may I please have your autograph? Well, I don't usually do this. Uh-uh, Joy. But that's Ted Barry. I used to listen to his music when I was on Earth. See what I mean? Say, Shakespeare, Buffalo Bill. You've really got me in good company. Guess I'm in, huh? Just a moment, my impulsive young maestro. The music committee will have to pass on you first. Oh. Did you say music committee? Yeah, but don't you worry about them. They're a swell bunch of guys. Not enough trombonists, sir. Front. Oh, may I do it, sir? Oh, I suppose so. Hall of music for Mr. Barry. Will you follow me, please? Here. Now I know why they call it heaven. Because I'm beautiful? Oh, you know it, eh? Everybody's beautiful here. This card is devoted to the fine arts. And whom are you devoted to? Sir? I mean, do you have any boyfriends up here, or could we step out some night and cut up a cloud? Oh, no. I couldn't do that. You see, I'm an angel. Right here, if you need me. Well, here goes. Gentlemen, the committee will come to order. The best tunes of all move here from Carnegie Hall. Know ye by all these presents, the applicant of record, Ted Barry, herewith described and defined as a musician, and herewith set forth and submitted for eternal residence in the sanctum sanctorum of music. References, none. Educated in Brooklyn. Qualifications to be determined by the committee in session. 
The meeting will now proceed. Herr Ludwig von Beethoven presiding. Come in, young man. Come in. A musician is always welcome here. Gosh. Are you really Beethoven? Eh? How many times I've played your Moonlight Sonata. I heard you. But we bear no malice here. I'll forgive you. What sort of musician are you? Well, Mr. Tchaikovsky, I... I sing mostly. Oh. Sing, Schmidt. I thought you said a musician. Can you beat a drum? Loud? Well, no, Mr. Wagner, but I used to lead a band. Oh, one of us, eh? A conductor. Prekrasna. Very nice. Mr. Berry, may I ask what type of music you have uh, conducted? All the usual routine. Boogie Woogie and Dixieland, sweet stuff for the Yankees, jump music for the Hepcats, but solid. What language is that, Paganini? I understood everything. Up to the point where he started to speak in pizzicato. I beg your pardon, but what was the musical form you mentioned? Boogie? Boogie Woogie, Mr. Brahms? Well, that's just, you know, barrel house music. Eight to the bar. Plenty of schmals. Schmalt? <laughs> Sounds like you, Wagner. Mr. Berry, perhaps you could give us some idea musically. What on earth did you do? You mean you want me to give an audition? Gentlemen, you don't seem to realize. I've broken every box office record in America. And I also happen to be the composer of Help Yourself to Romance. And that ain't hey. You also compose. Well, number one on the hit parade for 11 weeks in a row. That bad? Hit parade? What is hit parade? You know, we tuned in one night. What the fellow makes. I see your hemp. And it would have panicked him in the jukeboxes, too. Only, uh, we haven't been making any phonograph records lately. What sort of a composition is it? A symphony? An aria? Or what? I guess it's an all what. Look, I'll play it for you. yourself to sweet romance you can find it most everywhere you'll meet her and your heart will dance with a rhythm she will share just help yourself to sweet romance Stop! This is an outrage. Help yourself, eh? You helped yourself to my nutcracker suite. Listen. What's wrong with that, Mr. Tchaikovsky? All I did was borrow your theme. Freddie Martin used your stuff all the time. Everybody makes money with my music except me. Recorder, make a note. Let me know when that Freddie Martin checks in here. Young man, you admit the similarity of the music? Sure, I admit it. But you gentlemen know there are only seven notes in the scale. How can you avoid similarity? Do you think the Nutcracker Suite is original? That's a direct steal from Wagner. I, Peter. Ilyich, Tchaikovsky, I stole from Wagner. Yes, you did. Only my genius could deal with such a theme. Listen. There you are. And if you really want to get down to cases, Wagner took that melody from Brahms.
And so you have proven that you have a good knowledge of the classics. But that is not enough. You must also prove that you have musical ability. Now you must submit to a test. Okay, let's have the $64 question. We will give you 10 minutes to compose one piece of original music. We have all done it many times. If you can do it, you can be one of us. 10 minutes? Right this way. Fine bunch of guys. Took Beethoven nine years to write his third symphony. Gives me 10 minutes. Take a miracle. Did someone say miracle? I'm licked. Oh, no, you're not. I said I'd be here if you needed me. Angel, if I ever needed any help, I need it right now. I've got five minutes left to write an original song. You can do it, Ted. I haven't even got an idea. You must do it. I want you to stay here. You do? Oh, it's no use. I just can't think. Don't think. Just look at me. No. Into my eyes. Look. Don't think. What was that? I didn't hear anything. You didn't? Say, wait a second. I want to try something. I'm getting it. I seem to hear heavenly music. Every time you're near, there's heavenly music. I look at you, and suddenly angel voices sing. Bells begin to ring as we soar higher and high. Why is my heart blissfully swaying? That's because it hears violins play. And if the things I read in your eyes are true, then you hear music have reached the decision. Your modern music sounds pleasing to the ears, but will it live? Will it stand up to the test of time, as our music has done? For the final answer... Yes. yes? Come back in 200 years. 200 years? Mr. Beethoven, please. That isn't fair. You can't make him wait that long. Just because Ted's music is modern, just because it sounds new to your ears, that doesn't mean it's bad music. Mr. Liz, after all, isn't it the melody that counts? 
You can play a good melody in any style, modern or classical. Mr. Chopin, you know that Ted's music is good. If you had written the same melody, well, well just try it in your own style and, and you'll see what I mean. Won't you? Please. Welcome, fellow composer. Ted, you've made it. Well, I hear about this in Brooklyn. Thank you. 
reluctantly our homeward way we went. We'd love to linger longer, but you see this.